Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Dad Bear Town Time and the beginning of a brand new Space Engineer Survival Playthrough series, which we are going to call One Day at a Time. And that title is inspired by a recent decision I made to change the way that I'm doing these videos and posting them. In the past, I have played as I felt like it and recorded during those times. And then as we posted videos, I would just go back to videos I've made and you know, sequentially edited them, put them up. And the problem that I ran into with that is that it takes a lot longer to put episodes out than it takes for me to play. So I would end up with a huge bank of episodes, raw footage, and there would be things that happen that you know, I might have solicited input for, but because it took so long for the episode to get out, so much had already transpired after the taping of that episode. So we're going to be doing this play once a week, post once a week, solicit feedback, adjust for the next episode. That's why it's called One Day at a Time. We are going to be using uh, my custom star system, which has roughly 30 uh, entities in the star system. Uh, 27 of which are planets, including a space start. We are going to start by randomly choosing where we are going to spawn. Now, I put a poll out some time ago that asked if people preferred on planet start or if they didn't care. Uh, majority of my series have started on are out in space, if I'm correct. We've only had one or two that actually uh, started the planet side. So the response that I got from that was really that it doesn't really matter. So we're just going to randomly choose. Of all the planets that I have in this system, there is only one that we are not going to use this planet here because it is a gas giant. Uh, it is not a place to spawn. So that is off the list. Uh, everything else down here is except spacesuit. We're not going to do spacesuit. And if we end up doing space pod, uh, we are not going to use this space pod. We're going to use something different. So just letting you know what the plan is. Otherwise, nothing special as far as uh, rules. Honestly, I would like to use this playthrough as a chance to collect as many blueprints as I can. Think of me as a space engineer ship designer who is, say, an apprentice or a journeyman and they are trying to build up their library of blueprints for their space engineer career. This has already been a long enough intro. We're gonna go ahead and randomly generate a number using Google, uh, one to 27, generate. Fifteen. Okay, so that's where we're gonna, that's where we're gonna start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, Omicron. Yay. <laughs> A splitsy place. Awesome. And this is going to be tough. <laughs> All right. So we are going to spawn on Omicron and um, I have most of the regular mods that I use are in the game due to previous difficulties I've encountered in some of our other playthroughs that we're going through uh, right now I have foregone putting in the mods faction uh, space pirates enhanced they're no, not in there and LECC not putting LECC in just because they tend to flood an area if you spend any time there especially out in space I haven't run into it too much on the planet side, but still, that is what we're going to do. So, I don't even know if the ship is going to survive this spawn. This is going to be interesting, because we're also using the eat, sleep, drink, and rest. And uh, that's going to require some modifications of stuff. So, let's see what happens. And I'm going to go ahead and get a 45-minute timer set up. All right, 45 minutes has started. No, this may not be good at all. <laughs> oh, we're coming in hard. Coming in hard. Eight. One. Oh, man. What 
do we got? Okay, I cannot be on that hill. Hopefully we can find something here. I know I don't have a ton of power here too. Hmm, my color HUD is not working. Uh, that's not cool. Um, no, I don't want to be in these mountains. Let's uh, turn off our forward or our backwards thrusters here. Shut the blocks. And we're going to turn those off for right now. And we're going to go ahead and get moving. We also have up to 300 meters a second speed. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that old body location. That is from when I generated this system. I have never played on Omicron before, so I am completely unfamiliar with any uh, locations of resources or anything like that. So if we're lucky, hopefully we can identify a lake, which I don't, I don't even know what Omicron has on it. I can't tell if that's a lake or not, or if it's just snow. That may just be snow. like just snow and we're in a lot of mountains here yeah that looks like just snow is that a lake is that a lake that might be a lake okay so this might not be a bad place to sit down. Okay. And of course we got a bad guy. Crap. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna sit down here. The 300 speed is gonna, is gonna mess with me. I know it is. It's gonna mess with me bad. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a moment to take those backwards thrusters and group them. And we're going to add those to our menu if I can do it quickly before crash. Killing my power here. Uh, it's killing my power. Goodness. Groups. Reverse thrust. On. There we go. <clears throat> well, at least we've got a lake. We know we got ice. Which means hydrogen power. And hopefully, I again, I have never been on Omicron before. I've watched very, very little of Splitsy's series uh, Survival Impossible, which I believe is on Omicron. Um, so I don't even know how easy it's going to be to find materials. Oh, great. What do we got? Parallax already. Okay. Um, need to, I 
do need to get down a little bit, just in case there are... We got ice, of course. In case there are resources nearby in the ground, I want to be able to, to see if there are. A little bit of a dark spot over here. There might be something, maybe, maybe. Nope, not seeing nothing. Okay. All right, well, we're gonna park here. I think this is where we're gonna try to, to make our start. Um, <clears throat> I wanna be somewhat close to a, we're gonna need a lot of stone, so. Oh, come on, dude, there we go. At least I know I've got plenty of stone here that we can work with. <laughs> We're going to be making changes to our to our pod, of course. Ugh, that was a tough hit. Tough hit. <sighs> okay, we're locked. All right. Uh, let's take a look at our pot here. What do we got? <clears throat> okay, we've got... We will create a GPS marker for that. Tools. Probably don't need that many. <laughs> let's see what else we have on board. Oh, nice plushy things. And we got some, okay. We got a little bit of ice. Ice is not going to be a problem since we found what we've got here. That's good. So let's go ahead and get out and see what we are dealing with. Um, let's go ahead and grab our oxygen and hydrogen bottle. And then let's use, we're going to simulate using a scanner here. Take a look at that wreck. Oh, that's weird that that's so far away, and yet we're okay. Oh, we have a derelict, obviously. Ooh. Jumpy on there. We'll slow that down a little bit, hopefully. There we go. Oh, wow. We got a large grid. That gun is working. Does it just have. It appears to just have interior. Up, oh, we've got one large, inter large turret here, and uh, so we might be able to make use of that. But we're going to have to get past those. Ooh, there's a boulder over there. <clears throat> Uh, we might be able to make use of that. So, all right. Okay. Well, first, first thing we want to do. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. Is we are going to. We need to go get. We need to make use of unknown signals as much as possible. Um, let me find out what my range on my antenna is right now. A thousand kilometers. Uh, we're going to need to be up at five. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and head over this way to the unknown signal. Hopefully on the way back we'll happen to spot a uh, boulder. Um, possible resources. Is this a ball? Luckily, oh, great. That should not have happened. All right, we're going to dampen to this guy. Mm -hmm. 
Um, okay. It is really hard to maintain. There we go. We got it. Stop rolling. And that's how you catch these guys. Because they are ridiculous in their maneuvers. <clears throat> we are not using all scraps, so I don't got any worry about that. Alright. Uh, let's see. We know we're going to have a gyro in here. And we need parts anyway, so we're just going to take everything we can. We can start laying out um, a base, you know, a base platform uh, to get our production rolling and go from there. So <clears throat> I'll shut up so we can fast forward to this. <laughs> that boulder over there near the uh luckily we needed the exercise in all right oh let's see let's go ahead and put some of this in there we don't need i don't need that many of these that. Got the plates. Alright, let's go ahead and start laying out um, <clears throat> some sort of some sort of plan here. I think wind here is really bad, if I'm correct. So we may end up having to go with solar. <clears throat> But, since we're here, and we're on ice, hydrogen might also be the way to go. Battery. And that for now. Um, to, we're going to go ahead and put our... Because we're going to need a basic assembler. We're going to need uh, basic refinery. We're going to need storage. And I might as well go ahead and add these here since they're going to be you do really important for, Maybe you, should keep my battery up. you know, for our building in the future here. And I have to build that eat, sleep, drink, rest module. Okay. So let's go ahead and get... Hmm... It's not going to be great there. Mm. I'll bring it out further. Yeah, I'll bring it out further. I cannot be. You got to be kidding me. I can't be in creative mode, am I? Sorry guys, did not realize that. Um, actually, that we're gonna.
we are going to turn that back on and I'm going to delete this stuff here. I didn't get it. I don't know why it took me so long to catch it. And now we'll turn it off. Again, that was on so I could generate our system. <clears throat> that um, <laughs> interior no uh, let's go to I'm gonna put that there and then we're gonna go to Have a better idea. Uh, temporary. Boom. I hate how the basic assembler only has one opening. We don't care. We're going to <clears throat> stick it there on the bottom. Still works. <clears throat> Get rid of that. Um. And then we can put our refinery, and we can put a survival kit when we eventually get one here. We will put it there. So, yep, just like that. And then we're going to... Oh, this is not going to be easy. Uh, up, up. I'm going to be going through hydrogen so fast. We gotta do this quick. Oh, come on, this is not Digi. It's not Cooper's. Where is it? It's not his. Oh, forget. MA. There you go. We're gonna try that. It's a wind turbine. We'll try two. Okay. All right. So let me go get um, time to get building. No, I need to get the eat, sleep, drink. Eat, sleep, drink. Got to get it taken care of. Two there, none there, and none there. Okay, great. One, two, three. I think that's what I need. Yep. No, 
don't need that. Uh, whew, maybe I will need that. Let's go. Yep, I got a crap. Sorry, guys. A little, a little quick on the rise there. Um, and replace that. I got it going the right way. Okay, so from here, if I put eat, sleep, drink here. <clears throat> It's going to be there on this side. Dead gummit. <sighs> and I'm dragging my feet. Guys, I know. Sorry. See what we got. See if I got enough to make this. So close. I need six girders. I'm also going to need girders, though, for that. Uh... Let's see. <clears throat> yeah, I'm also going to need girders for the uh, turbines up there. Oh, so hard to fly here. Gravity. We are going to be running a separate death counter. We are going to have the, of course, the ever-present death counter. Every time we die, that one goes up. But we're going to have a special category called splat counter, like we've seen on our plausible deniability, where that's a death, of, you know, due to sudden deceleration. See what we got here. Can I get this? All right, nice. Okay, so that's good. That will help us. Let's go get some stone real quick. Long tool. Need to change my gun down here to a pistol. Get it loaded, and then go up here and get some rock. <clears throat> Now the funny thing is, is I've got so much in my inventory that this is not going to be a very good load. Our right, production, we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to say a thousand of those. That should keep that rolling. Your battery level will be low on the next beat. I also want to grab a little bit of ice. And I want to do it here. Ah, dang it. Didn't want to do that. I should have ground that up and done it. That's that was bad on my my part there. I did not want to blow those up. Of course I chose the spot in between them to 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 make sure I I destroyed two blocks instead of, you know, just one. Way to go. At least we didn't damage the assembler there. Now we'll go get some more stone. Or we got a charge. Go. Hmm. We can run a collector. Huh. Might not be a bad idea right there. Just let stuff roll down to the ship. 
Okay, those are put in production. Let's get some power here. Okay. Oh, how do we got girders yet? We do. Outstanding. That means we can go ahead and get our eat sleeping going here. Okay. And now we are we are gonna be processing that should empty my inventory some. Okay. Now we're collecting. And I'm gonna do a bunch of extra here, way more than I can carry, and just let it roll down to the ship where I can pick it up. We got about 15 minutes left, guys. Making sure they don't disappear. Got all of it? Oh, not quite. Yay! That worked out. What else did I deposit? Hit uh, Let's see. You seem to be overloaded. Have you considered our inventory DLC? Engineer, a steel plant. Cannot get to your inventory. And we need to go ahead and put that stuff in production. Why do I have that? Can go and get rid of that. Oh, I have to need more than that. That's all I need? Wow. Um, okay. I need to get, uh, let's see, we'll go ahead and pick this up. You seem to be overloaded. Throw that in there. Um, and then I need to get up and get start getting the um, materials for I get up here and start getting these. Nope, I'm just gonna do it from here. Okay. Not small crew. There we go. We need one, two. Let's see if we can get that. <coughs> Close. What else do we have? Construction components. Try to get the upper one first. We got a construction component. Okay. 
Ooh, this was close. You know what? I need to turn the lights out on this thing. That's for sure. Start that. Should have enough to get this finished. And what do we have? Pipes. Uh, a couple steel tubes will go in there. So I'm actually not too concerned about the metal grids right now. And let me tell you why. It's because that scrap derelict over there. Um, <clears throat> Looks like it has heavy armor. And if it's got heavy armor, that means it's got metal grids in it. So, if we can get over there, disable the guns, which I sincerely hope that we should be able to do that. The, uh, we can harvest all the metal grids we want from there. So. Emergency ration production kit. There we go. We're going to move all this gravel over there. Production. And we're going to... Let's go... Ten. Ten. We'll let it do its thing. Okay. Let's go put some ice down. more. Hopefully we can get a little bit of power. I don't know if we're going to get enough power. Come on. Alright, come on. Find out what kind of wind we got here. I don't think it's going to be good. find out how much power we're getting from our wind turbine here. Uh, wow. That's bad. <laughs> that is so bad. Okay. Good job, Splitzy. Well, we got about seven minutes left. Let me see if I can get... Um, let me see if we can actually get that refinery to, to work. Take this stone. We're going to throw it in there and see if it's actually able to process it. And if it is, great. If it's not... I don't hear it running, so... Nah, it doesn't appear like it's uh, it's doing its thing. 
Okay, so we are going to need at least one more wind turbine there. So let's grab grab rock. Oh, I'll grab it out of here and throw it back in the... Would have been nice to be able to get it from there. But anyway. That's just garbage. <sighs> Five minutes left. Quick pull. Still got a little bit left. You have one new message. Message one received fifteen seconds ago. Hydrogen low. <laughs> I feel like we're going to have a lot of that. A lot of that here. That's for sure. Alright. <clears throat> Guys, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. And we'll leave it from here. Uh, we've got ourselves a challenging start. Again, never been on Omicron before. So, uh, we're going to keep working. I'm going to try to get... I, I don't... I seriously doubt that's going to be enough power. But, uh, let's see. It appears we had sun over here. I think our... I can't... Once I have a better idea of where our sun is moving, uh, I'll place some solar panels down that will hopefully provide a little bit more power, enough to get things going. And once we get a hydrogen engine, we're good. We are good. So, uh, this looks like this is going to be fun. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember, uh, hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell, and share the videos. I am looking forward to this. If you guys have any tips, tricks, questions, suggestions, gripes, anything, uh, let me know. The way this series is supposed to work is we put out a video. Uh, we've got four days or so for input and then play make a video and put it out and rinse and repeat so your guys input is going to be uh, put as a priority for this series so I will have to restrain myself from playing the game this series uh, between tapings and uh, I think I can do that. So let's work together and make it good. Until then, you guys take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Be safe. And I 
We'll see you on the other side of Omicron. But until then, I should go.